TV and I am Sweet De Boss. I'm here right now with um, a, la a lovely lady here. Her name is Judy, and I'm welcoming her to the show. I'm thankful to be here on your show, Sweet De Boss. And I'm glad for you to hear. And this is somebody that's been around, and her what she's going to be talking about today on our show is the struggle she had growing up as a lady and the challenges that she's had. So I'm going to ask, what type of challenge, where did you grow up from, where are you from? I'm from Barbados. Wow, that's very nice. And my challenges were, I got pregnant at an early age. So that was your challenge? That was my challenge because now <laughs> I have to change things to look around to see what I'm going to do for babysitting. I'm wow. going to work. I have to work for my children. So you're like a, you're a working mother. I was a working mother. And single? I'm, and single. And in, in, new in the country? In, new in Canada? And new in Canada. Wow, that's a lot. My children were back home. Oh my gosh. So how did you manage? I went out there and worked every job to send back money for them. It was very hard. Mm. It was a challenge then. I started to go to school right. and I was sitting there wondering, should I actually go to school or should I go to work and work for my children? And what did you and decide? I decided to work for them. Okay. Meanwhile, an education would have been first. Wow. Yes. So wow. it must have made a lot of struggles because sometimes a lot of people think that from when you come up from the Caribbean that money grows on trees and a lot of people think that that's, that's the you case. You should be sending back money You'll be money sending for back them. money for yes. everybody. And is that, is that the case with you? I just sent back for my children. And it wasn't even enough. Oh. Because I have to eat here. There's nothing free here. That's right. And... You have to think about moving on from where you are. You know, I'm living, I'm staying at family, and you're thinking, should I actually go and, you know, like rent an apartment? It didn't work that way. So what did you have to do? You have to get your own apartment, or did I went and, and, and did a living job? Oh, yes. So that was okay. So you babysat. That was okay. No, I didn't babysat. No. I wouldn't call it babies, no. What was it called? It was an elderly lady. Oh, okay. I, I was cooking for her. And, you know, when she going shopping, it was more like a companionship. Okay. Right? And I'm still struggling, but I'm thankful. Okay. And what about, and I also knew that you, to, you know, to survive, that you did acting. You acted with Tom Cruise. Can you, can you emphasize with me on that? What you did to make that money and make those ends meet? To make those ends meet, I met a girl from Nova Scotia. Okay. And she said to me, you could make some extra money. You could have your job and still yeah. come out and, you know, take part in that background scene. And I did that. I worked with Tom Cruise. And wow. I, I danced all day and I made $600. Wow. And what year was that? Dancing. That year was um, when they made cocktails, but I can't remember the, the movie year. cocktails. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because okay, that was in the eighties. Mm -hmm. And then he acted in some other movies, doing some gangster stuff too. Oh, with Debbie Reynolds, yeah. So what did you do? What was that about? That was um, I played a, a hooker, and then went into a bar. Okay. I shoot up the bar. I couldn't believe I was doing stuff like that. Wow. I only had the gun, but when I saw it, I was shooting people. I thought, oh my God. But I was on a movie set. That was on the movie set. That was, that, that was really great. I like it. And did you do some modeling also? Or? No modeling. You just I did wanted movies. To, they wanted to send me to Chicago to, okay. to that modeling thing, but too expensive. Okay. At the time. All right. So at least you made the ends meet that way. I read the, yes. The ends, hey, the girl got to do what she got to do. I work three, three jobs sometimes, and I'm on the train sleeping. 
the train is going around. It went to, I can remember one time, I slept on the train with my purse. I went to Scarborough Town Center and came back. The train right. went around like twice. And I thought, when I look at the time, I say to myself, my God, maybe people getting on and getting <laughs> off and they think that I don't have no way to live. I was so tired. Right, because yeah. he worked a lot and stuff. Yes. So who is Judy? You know, what, what, happened, what happened to, where is Judy? Who, who's Judy right now? Where is Judy right now in a, a, a relationships? Like, you've, you know, you, you said you had a tough time here. And stuff like that. So I was how married. Does that grow? I am. I was married. Now yes. I'm divorced. Mm -hmm. I'm living a single life. Which is I'm okay. a single woman. It's okay. I'm thankful. Right. I give God the glory. I'm here. Amen. But we, you know, like women out there have to love themselves first before they look for that guy. Right. Understand? If not, it won't work. That's right. That's how the love comes around. You have to think about loving you first. Because you had some then, pain with yes. men also. So yes. th that kind of like maybe put you back in the world. Put you back in stuff that you had to do. So what actually happened when you, you know, you had, you were hurt. You felt hurt. You felt like you were left somewhere, you know. And how did you pull yourself together with all that? The grace of God. So you're a Christian. I'm a Christian. That's wonderful. Yes. So, that, so those God. are the steps that you have to take to say you love in yourself, but the grace of God is within me. That's great. So you have to tell yourself if you're going out there thinking that you would find something special, you wouldn't. Mm -hmm. It's all about loving yourself and saying to yourself, maybe one day it would come by. He'll send someone one day. And he will. And he will. All right. Yeah, see? <laughs> well, we'll be right back with um, Judy, and this is Real Life Matters TV, and I am Sweet DeBoss. Real Life Matters is a power packed, inspired show. about real life matters that affect real life people. If you'd like to be a part of Real Life Matters TV, you can either call the number that's on the screen or send us an email. Welcome back to Real Life Matters TV and I am Sweet De Boss. We are here back with Judy. And uh, we're just going to continue on or it, when Judy was, um, she had a lot of struggles and stuff like that when she came from the islands. And uh, she just wants, to, she's going to emphasize a little bit, how, how was it when you're, you're, you left your kids and you came here to Canada and you left them back there? How did that affect you? It affect me. It make you nervous. It give you all kind of headaches to know they're back there and yeah. you're here. You're working for them. But they're hating you at the same time because they think you're having a good life. Do your children still feel that yes, way to you? Yes, they still feel that way to me. And it wasn't your fault. You came it to here. It wasn't my fault. My aunt brought me here. And I would advise any young woman out there, don't think about coming to Canada. It's the streets are not lined with gold or with the dollar sign. I'm telling it you. It just happen that you struggle. You're coming from a hot island to lots of snow. You have to change your way of thinking. Yes. And it's expensive. Do not leave your children behind to come to Canada. It's not the way to go. And you know, from you saying that, you know, a lot of people come from a lot of countries and they come here and then sometimes their kids are not treated the way that you're thinking, you're sending the money back to them, you're sending everything to them, you're sending barrels back, you're sending all kinds of stuff, then people send the money, some of them using the money, they're not even helping the kids. Um, did that happen to you or any effect like that? Or That did not happen to me, but my daughter has a lot of hang-ups. Okay. 
she loves me, I know that, but going back to that story, she is there and I'm here. Oh. We don't have that. You don't have connection. that agreement. No, that connection okay. is out the window. Because she thinks because maybe your family or relatives said something and it wasn't even true because you're out here and they don't realize that everything here in Canada is not the same way yeah, as, as, it, as it was, they're saying. And you have to struggle because you have to find a place to live. Yes. You have to find someone who's trustable to live because you can get robbed, you can get stealed. You know, people take advantage they of you. You, you yes. might think that you find a man that's okay. Did that happen to you? Like you find a man and next you know, they take advantage of you because, oh, you don't got your papers or, ooh, what's going on with you? Well, my husband gave me my papers. Okay. He was very good. And you loved him? I don't know about love. I never had love. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't know about no love? Funny. I don't know if it was love, but... Well, what does love mean to you? Or what did you expect? I thought that love was something that the person would overshower you with, not with gifts, but with love. It was never the connection that I thought it was. Did you think that having sex with somebody was love? Because a lot of women relate that that. I don't know about having sex with somebody is love. Okay. I haven't even felt that yet. No. I'm still waiting. You're still waiting? Yeah. They say that love is something that you connect to it. Mm -hmm. I never connected to love yet. I'm still waiting on my love. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And that's probably a lot of other people are the same thing also. Yes. But, you know, like, but, you know, I, I really appreciate you talking about this because some people need to hear that because you came from the islands, you left your kids home, you came back. People probably think, oh, you just pawned your kids off and just having up here. But they don't realize that you are actually trying to build a life for them. And you're thinking about your kids every minute. Gosh. It is hard, you know. You just leave everything. Some people, and, and some people do it for years. Yeah. I That's, did it for years. Yeah. And, and, you know, a lot of people take advantage. How do you leave your kids? You must have got abuse from that. It is. It's but, very hurtful. To leave your kids back there, you thinking every minute, are they okay? Wow. You don't get to kiss them when they go. They don't see the birthdays, but they're still getting gifts from you. But you're not yes, there. You're not there. You know. But look at you today, Judy. Judy, you're is a wonderful person. You're coming up. You smile. You laugh. But sometimes when people look at you, they're thinking, "Hey, you know, Judy's smiling. She's laughing. She's joking. She's jovial. She's a full woman." Hey, but how could you have this this problem? What's so what strength can you tell people that what what did you have to hold on to? to make you, to your kids got here? What strength, what can you relate that with somebody? What kind of strength did you have to hold on? What did you look to? What did you make you, you know what, my kids are coming. I got to, you know, I got to be strong. I could tell you, pray. Yes. The grace of God. Amen. That carries all understanding. Mm -hmm. That is what I look for every day. Yeah. The praying. You feel sad. Right. Sometimes you don't even have a penny in your pocket. Yeah. But I'm still laughing because you can't go there and tell people you don't have no money. <laughs> they think you got enough. Or some people might think, look at you and say, "Oh my goodness, she, she's rich," but you maybe got a dollar or two dollars. I'm still, I'm right, still if you got the same. <laughs> you're but the same today, but you're happy. Yes. And I'm glad of that. God bless us. <laughs> but you know what? I want to thank you very much for sharing your story because I know that people are going to hear that and people are going to really relate to what you said to us today. Yes. And you know, Judy, you know, I just want to tell you that you are a wonderful person and you just keep impacting people. You keep going out there because, you know, people are going to see this and they're going to say, hey, we saw you on, we saw you on real life TV with Sweet D Boss and um, you know we saw your story and we can relate to that yes. with you and you know when they, when they come up you just tell them you know, to hold on but anyways you know I'd like to thank you for coming to the show thank you and we'll, right, thank you and we'll see you next time it was a pleasure thank you, thank you. All right.